Oh my God, it's actually happening. Would you look at that? <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Osborne, uh, and this is Manifold Garden. I'm so excited to be showing this game off. Uh, before I go into my little spiel and explanation about some mechanics here, um, I have some wonderful people on my couch. We're going to start with Hat Kirby over here, who's another runner of this game. Hi, yeah, I, I'm Hat Kirby. I run the more glitchless uh, versions of this game, which is this is not going to be. You're going to see Osborne <laughs> do a lot of weird stuff, so get ready for that. Yeah, and then down the scale, we have someone who has played the game before but has never seen a speedrun. Yes, so Bobby Berm. I am a puzzle game speedrunner as well. I've played the game before, have seen the entirety, but have no idea how the speedrun goes, so we're going to be reacting without having seen it before mm -hmm. for the speedrun. Wonderful. Thank you for being here. And yeah. on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, we have someone who has never played this game before, has never seen it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm here because I'm friends with Oz, and he said, hey, have you heard of this game? I went, no, forgot the name of the game, and now I'm going to be seeing it for the first time. I'm excited. Wonderful. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm so excited to show this game off. It's another first-person puzzle platformer. Um, and if you've seen any of my runs before, that's kind of like my niche. Um, and one thing that I am going to explain before we get into here um, to make the run a little bit more digestible is uh, typically if you've played this game before, you know that uh, you, can you can't jump in this game. What you can do is you can change gravity to be any direction you want it to be, as long as you're within, like, uh, within distance of a wall. So when you change gravity, uh, it looks like that huh. casually. Um, or at least it should look like that casually. Um, but as you can see, that's because I have a setting known as S-curve on. <laughs> Um, that's how you change gravity motion. Um, and the game has this option to turn it to instant, which is meant to be for people with motion sickness. It's kind of like blinking in VR games. Um, and instead of having that animation each time, we can just <laughs> do that. Uh, we can just instantly change. Um, and so that's really, really useful for the speed run. Um, that is the first thing. And the second thing that I'm going to be doing here is I'm actually, um, I have a, um, oh my god, caps. I have a uh, specific, um, command in the in the prompt here, um, known as bind f screenshot underscore normal. I already have it in, but I'm just going to retype it so we all can see. Um, and it's essentially allowing me to take a screenshot every single time I press the F key. Um, and so I don't have to reach across my keyboard to do that every single time. Um, it's because we, there's this thing called a wall clip. Yes, you can see I clip myself through the wall. And then in order to um, at, uh, clip this cube through the wall, I'm going to interact with it and screenshot at the same time like that. And it'll clip the cube through. And we're going to be doing a lot of that throughout the run. Um, and so I wanted to explain that now before we began. Um, so yeah, now we're going to quit to main menu. Um, and we're going to start the run soon. Uh, Hat Kirby, you got any, got any words before we get into this? Motion sickness warning. Yeah, motion sickness warning. <laughs> There's a bit of a motion sickness warning I wanted to mention. Um, like, it's, it's to each their own as to how much they can handle it, of course. Uh, but uh, do do want to, like, give that a bit of a preface there. Um, so uh, timing will begin once we hit over right here and start a new game. Does the crowd want to help me count down, starting from five? Yeah. All right, let's go. Five, four. four. Three, two, one, go! go! Yeah, let's go. Good luck, guys. Wonderful. All right, so Manifold Garden, as I mentioned before, you can't jump, but you can change gravity. Any of these buttons or these cubes that I'm going to be interacting with are only interactable on the same plane of gravity that, uh, that that's like this, that each of them has like a specific color associated with them, and they only uh, function on if you're on the same plane of gravity as them. So we're going to wall clip through here, and I explained how wall clipping works earlier. And beautiful. There's two parts, <laughs> clipping yourself through and then clipping the cube through. Typically, clipping yourself through is the easier part, as you can see right there. Um, we're going to be doing it a lot throughout the run. Hopefully, I can get this guy in the pedestal. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. It did work. Oh, my Hi. god. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I did not think that that was going to work, thank goodness. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and the main gimmick about um, Manifold Garden, as you can see here, is that everything is infinite in every direction. You cannot die in this game. You will just keep falling and repeating the same thing over and over again. Hat Kirby, where are we going? Yeah, so um, in this starting area, there is actually a, a little shortcut that goes to an area near the end of the game. I guess it's meant as like a preview or something. Um, but um, using these wall clips, Osborne is going to be able to skip to the final level of the game using this secret little area. Let's there see. Yep, there we go. Nice. So Osborne could just go right to the secret ending of the game right now, but he's not going to do that. We've got some stuff we need to do first. 
There you go. This Should one's annoying. There we go. Reverse reorder? Yeah, so reverse reorder, what is this category? Essentially, there's these things called god cubes in the game. Um, and uh, you can plant them to grow, to grow trees. They work like seeds. Um, and so there's an intended way that the game expects you to get them. It is, uh, they all have specific colors. It's blue, um, blue, red, green, yellow, purple, orange, and then rainbow at the very end. Um, but with the wonderful use of glitches and the fact that there's like a secret passageway to get to the end without um, collecting all the god cubes, we can actually uh, get them all in reverse order, starting with rainbow first. So this is the final puzzle of the game. <laughs> um, this is meant to be the final puzzle of the game well, we're um, yeah, in, in the regular yeah. speed run. Um, but instead, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grabbing this rainbow cube first um, and then uh, grabbing all of them backwards. So we're going to do rainbow, orange, purple, yellow, uh, green, red, and then blue. Um, right now, we're going to be going to the rainbow cube. This specific mechanic with changing water in every direction, um, um, it's supposed to be a command mechanic that you were introduced to like halfway through the game, uh, but of course, you know it now. Um, and what that did was when we changed the water, it like activated a water wheel that started a laser that unlocks this god cube right here. It's a really long animation, so instead we just save and load, so it skips the whole thing. Um, and even on a, like, a slower PC, it's still faster. That animation's really long. We're going to take this god cube, or this dark cube, and we're going to activate this tree. I'm so hoping that that one glitch with the off-center camera doesn't happen, because after this dark cube, we get a little pretty animation. Yeah. Look at how beautiful that is. It's like a 50% chance that it's just off screen. This is one of the most beautiful games I've ever played in my entire life, and so this is just awesome. To it's watch. visually yeah, stunning. It's, it's stunning. It's great. And the music is fantastic to accompany it as well. It's so ethereal. It's great. Yeah. Uh, these are called mandalas, as uh, Hat Kirby <laughs> taught me. I keep forgetting the name of it. Um, so, Ruby, how are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> is this speechless? Gorgeous. I, I just. I, I don't even have words. I was gasping and making faces just from the tutorial explanation. So I belong for the ride. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Um, typically, this would be like in an all God Cube jump, this would be like the first, the last time for a grand hurrah of donations. But since it's reverse reorder, this is actually the first time we can do donations, and a dear. All righty. Well, first off, thank you for showing me a tree in this garden. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, here is a $50 donation from Nerd Square that says, I'll donate a bonus $50 if you get the Kobe shot. Can you break that down for me? Oh, that was at the beginning. We already did it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> there should be another 50 coming in. I love oh. that. That's good energy. Well, here's a $50 donation from The Valiant Sun that says, Hey, Oz, so excited to get to finally catch one of your runs in person. You are such an amazing speedrunner and person, and I am so glad to get to see you absolutely crush this run. Love from the Stream Tech table. Aw, thank you so much, Jess. Um, so, right, we could go beat the game right now, um, but we instead have to go get all the other god cubes. So we're going to fall backwards from where we came, and we're going to go through that secret exit um, in order to uh, go back to the orange cube. We're going to go uh, a little bit of a different route. Um, do I know how to get to that route casually? No. Um, <laughs> I've completely forgotten. Um, we're going to, oh my god, I, like, I love it when the wall cups just do it instantly. That's so amazing. Um, so I want you to remember this guy. Um, he is a surprise tool that's going to help us later. Um, he is a, he's the MVP of the run, and he's going to help us clip through this wall, and we're just going to leave him there for now. Um, and so. Uh, we're back at this tower, and we're going to be clipping into the tower outside of it, but like in a different, like secret way, um, in like a secret area. Uh, do you remember how to get to this like casually, Hat Kirby? Yeah, you have to uh, do the first level and get the, the the blue dark cube, and then there's like a little wall that disappears, and you can walk through it. Yeah, yeah. I, you're right. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but where are we going right now, Hat? Um, yeah, so um, there's a room coming up um, that we call the Secret Hub uh, that has a whole bunch of shortcuts to different areas in the game. Um, it's like a, li a really late game area, but um, Osborne's just going to be able to get in um, <laughs> using uh, wall cliffs. So I'll mention it when we're there. Um, and one of the shortcuts it has is uh, to the orange level, which is otherwise very hard to get to. It's very protected. Yes, yeah, this this massive room over here, there's that wall over there. And the, on the other side is where we want to be. Because this room itself, this is like a normal part of the game's progression. Yeah. Um, so there is a secret. Uh, we just went through the secret area to get here. Um, and once we get to this wall, we're not going to go through the door that's to our left. Um, we're just going to wall clip through this uh, this window right here. 
Uh, let's see how uh, it feels. Oh, it's a first try. Thank goodness. Beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, some of these wall clips are like the consistency of wall clips is like an enigma in this game where just like sometimes it happens like first try and other times it's just like uh, the game just hates us and wants us to uh, suffer and doesn't give it to us for several several tries. Um, but how, right. How much of the game would you say is reverse tree order like? Like, how different is it compared to, like, the regular run? Like, do you have to really keep it straight where you're going compared to, like, a regular run of this game? Um, yeah, I would say it's very specific because this is actually the only category of the game that cannot be done glitchless. Okay, um, gotcha. And so uh, it's, that's an interesting thing uh, so, uh, with the routing. And it's, uh, there's very specific differences in our routing, uh, including how we get this guy right here. Excuse me. Thank you. It's actually what? because of this level. Like, every other level you could sequence break without wall clipping, but this one... There's just no way. This specific gotcha. one is like almost impossible. Uh, we're gonna clip through with the dark cube. One thing about the dark cube is that if you let go for too long, um, it will like the screen will fade to white and it'll respawn you um, back to where the god cube, the dark cube was. Uh, okay, there we go. You nice. want to clip it through? Perfect. Let's and so go. we don't want to get it lost at yeah. any point. Um, and if you do, it's like you have to wait for like the whole animation to restart. So thankfully that didn't happen. All right, and here is the mandala that comes with the orange. Dark Cube. This one has a weird, weirdly long loading screen for some reason. So, yeah. And very oh. ominous music, I feel like, too. Yeah, very exactly. Threatening. You can see that there's like yellow and red and purple uh, because uh, the game thinks that you've gotten all, all of these cubes already at this point, and so it just plays this animation. That's so funny. Um, <laughs> but we haven't. We're going to be going through there. And we're going to be getting in the purple cube in a very particular way. But we have a bit of a, like a transitional area, so we have a time for like two or three more donations then. All righty. Well, there's a big one here I really want to shout out. Audience, if you can help me give this one the love it deserves for the love it's sending us and the charity. This is a $1,000 donation from Dino Berries. Woo! Woo! Nice. Woo! And extra love for me because you're helping me do my job here. Mega Man 3, Childhood Memories Unlocked. It's only right that I donate during my favorite video game character and my favorite video game of all time, that block, in memory of my mom who passed away from cancer. Thank you, GDQ, and good luck to all the runners on the upcoming week. So thank you, Dino Berries, for that huge donation from helping me shout out that we do still have two incentives currently opening or open. That includes the Mega Man 3 switch to Buster only. And with that, we're at 67% of the way there, $5,376 of 8,000. And another one I can't wait to shout out, the Pet the RoboCat in 30XX is currently at $3,413 out of 5,000. We absolutely need to pet that cat chat. Help me get there. We're at 68%. I want to see that done by the end of my shift, please. Thank you so much, Zen. Uh, right here, we're doing a new uh, glitch known as save warping. Um, essentially, if you look, if you stand right in front of a portal in this game, the other side of it is kind of loaded in. Um, and so, in this game, uh, if you save on one side of the portal, behind the portal, and then you load on the front of the portal, um, if you're in the same room as where you saved um, and then loaded again, the game will is just fade to white and then physically move your character through the level back to where you loaded. Um, or back to where you save, I should say. And so because we're in, in that, that gets rid of all collision. And so and since we're in front of the portal, the game will pull us behind the portal, which just ends up moving us to the other side of the portal, like through into the next area. Um, so you don't have to like solve, oh my goodness, I missed it. We're sitting here like, yep, totally, yeah. yeah. No, I just, I, honestly, I, I think it is a crime that I had never even heard about this game before. It is stunning. Yes, it's amazing. It's amazing. I, I, yeah. Um, right here, we got introduced to like the gravity changers. This was a yellow cube that got turned into a red cube. We're going to use it to clip through this guy right here. Perfect. And we're going to be doing something known as a tree clip. Um, you clip through the tree. That's, Wait, that's really? all. Uh, yeah, oh, exactly. That's oh, that's yeah. <laughs> you know? um, But it's. It, I have a love hate relationship with tree clips. Uh, this one, uh, you can see that there's the outline of the god cube. They're actually, it's actually right here in the middle of the tree. Um, and we're going to see how well the game wants to cooperate with us today. Um, so what we're trying to do is we're actually uh, doing the same thing as we do with wall clips. I'm going to actually, come on, there we go. The same thing as we do with wall clips, uh, but instead here with the tree, we're going to like, we want to wall clip into the tree like in a very specific way um, because you can land on top of the god cube, which is not what you want, but you want to like uh, clip into a way where you look like you're halfway through the tree. Um, and sometimes saving and loading will like change the physics in this game so that, it, that it works like that. And the second part is... You can see that there's the hitbox of the god cube peeking out ever so slightly from the tree. Nice. Grab it like that. That is hard. That's borderline wow. pixel perfect. Yes. Wow. And then we're going to save warp again so that it pulls us through the portal. 
Um, this specific save load, for some reason, it's just like it takes significantly longer than <laughs> all of the other ones. Um, but uh, we're going to clip the cube through here, and you want to make sure that you don't like move your mouse too high because sometimes the game will just eat up the cube, and you have to redo that part, and it's just really annoying. Uh, but thankfully, it didn't happen here. Uh, but that's the that's the alternative way of getting uh, a god cube. We don't do it for all of the all of the cubes because some of them are wildly more inconsistent than others, and so that's why we do it for uh, specific ones in this category. And you know, one thing I don't think we mentioned at the beginning of the round is that you know a classic GDQ ism is orb, right? I I think we need to get cube. You know, can I get a cube from I, the need crowd? A cube. Cube! Yeah, this is the year of the cube. Of I course. Think. I, think. I love it. We're going to save load here. Where are we going, huh, Kirby? Yeah, so uh, now we're going to be going to the uh, the yellow level, which Whoa. is, the, oh, <laughs> is the, the fourth level. Uh, Osborne's going to be doing another one of those uh, save warps uh, to get there. And the yellow level is... Um, uh, it, it's like a huge level. It's got all the. Uh, it teaches you all these mechanics. Like there's these double-sided gravity cubes and like these giant tetrahedral blocks that fall around. And um, Osborne's gonna do it like in completely very weird order. Um, like he's actually he's actually not gonna be doing a tree clip, but it's it's still going to be very weird. And this puzzle in the next room is like the only one in the whole game we <laughs> actually do the right way. Yeah. <laughs> this is the intended solution for this puzzle. Um, it is the only, as Harry said, the only room that we actually do intended. Um, and the reason for that being is uh, there is a door at the other side of this portal right, right there. Um, and we I cannot say warp through it because we need to keep it open for later. That's I remember like casually, this room was really tough to figure out when I played it originally. It is, especially with the gravity changing mechanics yeah. and stuff like that. Um, and so, as Haber said, we're going to be um, interacting with a, uh, a dual gravity cube. Um, it's a, just a cube that is able to change in two, two directions. Cube. <laughs> And we're going to catch it midair like that. I love that movement so much. Um, it's so satisfying. These cubes are actually really useful because um, you're able to just immediately change gravity on them. And they'll follow you since they can fall in both directions. Um, this cube will also be a small MVP for this <laughs> level. Um, we're going to place this guy right here. And we're going to clip through here with him. We want this clip to go in a very specific way because we want to clip through and be shifted slightly to the right. That might work for later because we want it, we wanted that cube to be set up Cube. for a specific thing later. Cube. Beautiful. Um, and then we're going to do like a floor clip instead of a wall clip here. Um, but when like you can change, when any direction can be down, what is a floor, what is a wall at this point? Um, oh, real, oh. Like that. Um, and this specific clip is dedicated to Amerlin when I was on his Hotfix show, and um, I couldn't get this clip for the life of me. Um, <laughs> and let's Shout see how, And there, there it is, right go. there. Beautiful. Nice. Um, <laughs> wonderful. Um, and then this uh, specific one is also, we're going to take this red cube, and we're going to activate this laser so that it activates the dark cube. Uh, we're not going to be tree clipping or anything through, through, uh, through any walls here or anything like that. Um, we're just going to be getting this dark cube. And we're just going to let this animation play. It's really short, so that we don't have to like save and load, like we did with the Rainbow Cube. Um, and another thing it was, I mean, it, this has probably been pretty prevalent, but you cannot change gravity when there's a cube in your hand. Um, and so that's in a very important mechanic that we need. To, uh, I, I'm so surprised that happened nice. first try. I did not think that that was going to happen first try. Nice. In practice, I, I almost always struggle with that one. <laughs> that's beautiful. Um, so can you remind me, how many trees are we going to have to complete total? There's seven total. Seven total, yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we have <sighs> three more left. This is the last mandala, last pretty visual that you're going to see whenever we collect the cube. The other three cubes, we're going to be tree clipping into it. Um, but while we get there, um, Zenadir is able to do some wonderful uh, donos for us. We have a bit of a transitional area here, so... Alrighty, and wonderful donations I will give you. This is a $10 donation from Selkuth Mine that says, Hey Oz, Sel here. If you told me when we first met in 2022 that I'd be good friends with the legendary indie game speedrunner Osmorn one day, I wouldn't have believed you. Since then, you have been an incredible friend and co-op run partner. I don't know if I'd still be speedrunning if not for you. Thanks for being an awesome friend, Oz, and best of luck with both of your runs. Oh, thank you, Sel. You're going to make me cry on stream. Go on. <laughs> Ooh, we should definitely get more donations to do that then. I'm all in on that. For a few more. Absolutely. $50 donation here from Spef that says, no better way to start my day than with an incredible Osborne run and a bonus Senadir on the host mic. Aw. All to support a fantastic cause. Best of luck on the run, my friend. 
Thank you, thank you. Got a twenty-five dollar donation here from Under Levin. Hmm? Oh yeah. wow, Under Levin, let's go! Hey, Osmore, and while you may have known me from viewfinder speed running, I was inspired from you when you speed ran Manifold Garden. Aww. Absolutely electrifying with your runs, and it's amazing how much you have given back to the community. But let's understand the gravity of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> let's destroy cancer like we destroy this game. Also, hello, Hat Kirby. He is a wonderful speedrunner, especially in the witness speedrunning community, which I have yet to stop trying to break the game. Good luck to you all. Thank you so much, Underlevain. Yeah, shout outs to the witness, uh, the witness uh, speedrunning community, Superliminal, Viewfinder. We're all tight knit with all these uh, puzzle games here. Um, so we're going to go to a secret area here. We used the um, dual gravity cube in order to activate the secret area. This is a dev intended area, um, and there is a um, there is a, a puzzle here that you're supposed to do in order to get through all of this, but we're not going to do it, of course. Um, Why would and we? in this area, if you've seen an all god cubes run, um, I know Nerd Squared, uh, who unfortunately couldn't be here for comms today, um, um, he was he he ran this at SGDQ 2021, um, and he ran all god cubes. Um, and so, uh, if you've seen that run, this specific movement might look a little bit familiar to you. Um, this is like. Two minutes into the All God Cubes run, um, where we going, we're going to go to the um, to the hub that kind of connects the green God Cube, the red God Cube, and the blue God Cube all at once. Um, and after a beautiful room, by the way, right clean. here, gorgeous wow. room. And I coming up here. Oh, 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 there we go. Perfect. Bit disorienting there, but. Um, in this room, I know it's like uh, it's Hat Kirby's like favorite room. Yeah. Okay. This room is like has like the only RNG in the whole run because there's this floor with a weird texture on it, and we have to place a block over a specific part, like over a target. And depending on the RNG, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. See, uh, Osborne got good RNG there. Sometimes you just cannot see that target, and it's pretty awful. Um, but. Nice job there. Also, oh, the floor will be RNG. Yes. Kind of yeah. Okay, it's yeah, just yeah. supposed to be like ooh, cloudy. Gotcha. Thing. Yeah, and we're gonna save. Load through here. Where am I going right now, Hackerby? Yes, yeah, so Osborne's going to the green area now. So green uh, teaches you all about those water puzzles that we saw earlier. And it's actually like uh, one of like the slower areas to do normally because uh, water, like as you might see, like the fastest way to travel through this game is by falling. Um, but you can't really do a lot of falling when you're doing water puzzles because water freezes when you're not in the right direction for the gravity. So um, it's really slow to do this the right way. So Osborne's not going to do it the right way. <laughs> I'm just yeah. thinking about Ruby's re reactions. It's, it's it just freezes? gold. It fre water just, uh, <laughs> it, it freezes. It's like quantum entanglement or something. You can actually make ice in this game. It's, <laughs> it's wild. It, it is amazing. Um, we're going to be wall clipping uh, into this room uh, and then wall clipping out of this room. Uh, similarly to the purple cube, we're actually going to be wall clipping through here. Um, and, uh, and this one's actually like the easiest one. It, I get it almost always first try. Um, uh, there you go. Come on. There you go. Perfect. Nice. nice. Cube. 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 Uh, that, if I were to like teach someone how to do tree clipping, I would always do it with the green uh, tree that we just got right now. Um, for some reason, it is like just the most consistent to clip into, and the area to like grab the god cube um, is so much more like generous. It's not like quite as pixel perfect as the rest. And we're gonna clip that through, and we're gonna plant another uh, god cube right here um, into this tree. And as you can see, every time that we collect the God Cube, there's this like beautiful garden area that Ooh, gets it here, uh, that's being grown here with all the trees, all the cubes that we keep One planting. One might say it's a manifold garden. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah. Roll credits. And, and, and that's the run, everyone. <laughs> Roll credits right there. Um, but we, there is a bit more of a transitional area here. So Zen, if you have anything more to say, any more donos, you're free to say them right now. Oh, I have some very good ones for my heart and soul here. $25 donation from Tharkis that says, an incentive to pat a cat? The time is meow to donate. This is the perfect reason to be generous. Mew should all donate to pet the cat and to help prevent cancer through early detection, like cat scans. Also, can we get a GDQ head pat slash pat the insert animal here emoji someday? I like that idea. The fact that we don't have one is a catastrophe. Thank you for that. I'm sure plenty of people are groaning in their chairs in person and at home, but it's worth it because so far, since mentioning that pet the robo cat incentive, we've raised 
up to $3,968. We jumped from about 68% to 79% of what's there. Let's keep it going. I've got one more game in my hosting block. I really want to pet that cat. I will go home and pet my cat during this marathon if we reach that. I'm not kidding. Let's make it happen. Thank you so much, Zen. Uh, right there was the... Uh, oh, I was really hoping that I wouldn't do the fall of shame there. Um, <laughs> so right there, we used the dual gravity cubes in the same way that we did it in like an all god cubes run in order to bring this cube through here and smuggle it into this room. This is another really large room that has a really long and complicated puzzle. It's actually a very well thought out and very beautiful puzzle, but we don't have time for it. Uh, so we're just going to not do it. Um, and we're going to clip through here. This one is a little bit finicky. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to be clipping through this and bringing this guy through with us. Music is a jam here. It is a beautiful, like, the, the, as soon as you clip through the wall, the, like, the music kicks in as if the game expected you to do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> which is, oh my god, come on, there we go. Um, and here I use audio cues because there's like um, a marble falling through a tube. Um, and I change gravity every time that the marble hits a floor so that I know exactly when to change it uh, so that it lands right here. Are you saying there's a tube and a cube? There is. Wow. Wow. Wait, that was, a, that was an orb. <laughs> oh, that was an orb. Oh, this game has everything. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What the heck? <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, what am I doing right now, Hacker Yeah, so this this is the red level, and it's got an even bigger version of that uh, orb puzzle that Osmorn just did, uh, but that takes a, a really long time. So Osmorn's gonna do another one of these tree clips here. And an interesting thing about uh, this one and uh, the blue one later on, I actually just learned this, is that the god cube doesn't actually start uh, spawned into the tree like the other ones do. That's why Osmorn had to do a save load right there. For whatever reason, it makes the god cube appear inside. And yeah. this is actually one of the harder ones to do as well. Yeah, this specific one, um, sometimes um, if the tree clip is not cooperating with you, you just save and load. And then it, every time you save and load, it kind of like messes with the physics in this game. Um, and sometimes that can make it a little bit more consistent. Um, as you can see, sometimes it wall clips you like that um, above the god cube. But you want it to be like halfway through the tree like we saw before with like the purple cube and the green cube. Um, let's see how many reloads this actually takes <laughs> before the game decides to give it to us. Or, or it does this, where sometimes you are already spawned in halfway through, nice. and you can just grab All it. Right. Cube, cube, cube. Beautiful. <laughs> and that was also like an incredibly fast grab of grabbing the god cube out of the tree. That was real. I usually struggle with that a lot, um, but thankfully the game was just like, uh, we'll give it to you right after. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I, I do find it amazing how it just spawned us right there. Sometimes when you reload it, just you're already clipped into the tree when you're loading, so it's great. Um, so instead of going backwards, like we have been through this entire run, we're going to go forwards, and we're going to fall over here to where this orange uh, god cube was planted. We're going to go back to like the secret area, because we only have one god cube left, which is the blue god cube, uh, the very first one that you're supposed to get in a casual playthrough. Um, and we're going to go back to the secret area that we saw here, um, because in this area, there's another secret entrance right over here. And that'll lead us back to like a bridge area, um, an area that you might recognize before from the beginning of the run. Is, this isn't guy. this like from the yeah. very, like the very beginning? This is right? the very beginning of the run. Yeah. Um, and remember this guy? I told oh. you to keep in mind. He is, uh, yeah. he is the Thanks. MVP of the run. <laughs> Um, first, first try wall clip right there, amazing. Um, he is going to be the, the, he was a surprise, so it's going to help us later. He's the MVP, he's going to help us uh, clip into the final uh, uh, tree so we can get the final god cube. Um, and as Had Kirby mentioned, we're going to save and load because this is another one that like doesn't um, uh, spawn in like right when you get into the room, and so we're just going to save and load so that it does spawn in. Um, and uh, after that, we'll see how generous the game wants to be with this specific wall clip. All right, let's see. Oh, first try, look at that. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh, sometimes you clip out of it. Uh, there we go, Ooh. okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit off center, but that's perfectly fine. But as long as we got, we got, I got that first try before, and, oh, uh, no, oh, oh, I, I grabbed it. There we go, come on. The nice thing is that if you're able to clip in once, you're usually, like the physics yeah. stay right. the same. Yeah, cool. that's why I was really happy with clipping in once, because you're just like, once you open once, you know. Uh, come on. It's like a nice little vision. I believe in you. Yep. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. We're going to do one last save warp right here um, to get us to the other side of this portal. And um, after that, after this, uh, 
No, oh. it happened. I can't believe it happened. Yeah, sometimes it just likes to eat up yeah. the cube. Um, like that. I was hoping I would go through the whole run without it happening, but you know, uh, marathon luck ha has it happened. There we oh, go, perfect. Yeah. Um, that is the last hard thing of the run. Uh, the rest is smooth sailing from here. Um, we're about like two minutes out from time. Um, and so this is the last God Cube, and now oh, they're all planted. Beautiful. And we're gonna fall backwards. And uh, for those of you that have played this game before, did you know that there's a fast travel system? Um, there's this like little diorama here, and it you can tra you can what? teleport to any place <laughs> that the diorama shows. No. Yeah. And so we're gonna transport directly back to Rainbow. Haha, -ha, your turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang it! I thought I could go this whole time without being surprised. Yes. To be fair, that mechanic is so obscure that there's literally an achievement for figuring out that it exists. Really? Exists. Oh, yes. that's cool. It's beautiful. Um, and so we're gonna so fall down here. We can actually fall down these stairs now since uh, we don't have a god cube in our hands, um, and. We're gonna do one last trick of the run. Uh, we're gonna change gravity on this waterfall right here. Um, and then... It was frozen. It was frozen, of course. <laughs> and then we're going to... The game is gonna try to stop us from uh, changing gravity, but if you just uh, go over uh, the gravity trigger, um, you can just fall down this catwalk instead. Like, there's a specific trigger that is just that turns off your ability to, uh, to change gravity, and we just went over it by changing gravity instead. Um, so that's the run. Um, this fall lasts about 50 seconds. Um, <laughs> but after that, um, a lot of pretty colors and a kaleidoscope animation will show up on screen, and that's time. I am really satisfied with the way that that run went. Um, yeah. It was really amazing. Um, thank you. I hope everyone got a wonderful treat this morning um, of all of the wackiness that is this run in this game. Um, I love it so much. Um, and it's probably one of the more interactive speedruns that I've uh, ever done, especially with all of the, uh, the uh, um, first-person puzzle platformer stuff that I do. So time is going to come up once we fade to the kaleidoscope. In three, two, one, time. Beautiful. Amazing. What was nice the final job. time there? 2811, that's pretty good. Wow, nice that's pretty job. good. I'm satisfied with that. Um, so, yeah, that was anything sub 30 in the marathon was amazing. Um, so, yeah, I am I'm so happy to, uh, to have shown this off. I've been speedrunning this for about a year. Um, and so I, I think that this is one of the more interactive uh, runs that I've, I've ever done. One of the runs that I've grinded for the most. Um, and huge shout outs to Nerd Squared, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. And he, um, he was, we kind of like bat battled back and forth for world record for a bit in this category. He's absolutely amazing. Um, and a huge shout out to him. Also shout outs to uh, a Gelly, who ran this at AGDQ 2020. It was just any percent, when any percent wasn't 42 seconds long. Um, and uh, and uh, because he found a lot of the tech for this game, he's like a pioneer in anything that's like first-person puzzle platform related. Um, and so, yeah, that's uh, those are the two main shots I want to do. Uh, but to my knowledge, Zen, we do have more. We do have the incentive, right, that we met? I am so happy to say that we absolutely do have that bonus any percent secret nice. ending. So let's see that, let's my go. friend. Beautiful. This one's going to be so long, so <laughs> yes. involved in detail. I can only imagine. <laughs> it is. Um, if we're good, this should take like two minutes. Um, <laughs> so timing is going to start the exact same way. And this is any percent secret ending. So as, uh, as Hacker we mentioned, there's like a secret ending in this game that you go through like a secret area without getting any god cubes, and we're going to get that ending. It is the objectively fastest way to beat the game. Um, so time is going to begin a, the exact same way um, when uh, we can uh, when we overwrite this file. So three, two, one, go. 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 Perfect. So for the most part, this beginning section is actually pretty similar movement to um, all god or all god cubes or reverse short order, however, uh, whichever category really. Um, and so we're going to be grabbing these guys and the first blue god cube that we see here um, is actually going to. Um, do something a bit different. Uh, instead of going to the room on the right where we grab the other god cube, uh, we're just going to go straight to the tower right here. And we're going to wall clip through here. Uh, oh, there we go. Perfect. And we're going nice. to be going into this room because this leads us to the main room of the tower. Now, you saw us go to the secret area at the beginning of the game. Um, in order to get to the rainbow god cube in the fastest way possible. Um, but there was a, another area to the right of it that we didn't go to. Um, and we're going to go to that right now. Hold up. 
one, two, three, four, five. There we go, this one right here. Um, and so we're going to wall clip right here. First try, thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice. And this is this is the most important God cube, uh, God uh, or the uh, wall clip right here. Um, and so we're gonna go over here to the end of this area, and we're just gonna wall clip right here. Oh, yeah. oh okay. it wanted to for a bit. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. There we go. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did at the end of the run, where skip over the trigger <laughs> to prevent us from changing gravity. And like that's it. That's like a, <laughs> wait, we're just gonna do the wait, same you thing. Just go to the same ending. Yeah, well, that, it's a, this is a different ending. It's a different ending, but it's like the same like well. Yeah, looks, same catwalk. You're right. usually area. in the dark world at this point. You're still gotcha. holding a, a, a one of the black cubes. Yeah, gotcha. the one of the the first dark cube, um, and so we're going to be getting this, and it's the same thing. This fall also takes like. 40, 50 seconds, um, but timing will end at the exact same moment once a kaleidoscope pops up on screen. That's right. Uh, but yeah, world record for this, I think, is like. I think it's like a minute. Yeah, like right? a minute or something. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, it, it, it's also like what I did was like the beginner cat, the beginner route, and it's only like a few seconds slower than like the objectively fastest route, but it's significantly easier. Um, and so. That's you want always baffling to me because it doesn't really have any yeah. intended use, but you use it to skip the whole right? game. <laughs> and that is time nice. right there. Beautiful. Oh. Wonderful. Um, yeah. What was that? 220? Beautiful. That's great. Um, but yeah, that is Manifold Garden, reverse true order and to any percent. Uh, I am so happy to be here. Uh, because this is my first GDQ in person. You've seen me in online events before, but um, I uh, am so happy to have finally be able to be here in person. Um, and this is a different ending right here where the animation is different because you didn't collect all the god cubes. And so um, I'm, super, I'm super glad that I was able to make it and that uh, these wonderful people on the couch could be here. Hat Kirby, Bobby, Ruby, amazing. Shout out to my back couch, all my friends over there. Woo! Amazing, a round of applause for them. Um, I'm. So I'm just so uh, excited to have been here and have an opportunity to actually be here in person. It's a much more different experience than all the online events, and it's much more exciting, much more happy, um, especially since I hang out with all my friends uh, this week. Um, but uh, if you want to catch more of me, um, I have... Uh, oh wait, I need to go into the sob story. I also need to especially shout out Bobby Berm. Um, around AGDQ 2021, yeah. um, I was like almost done with speedrunning because I tried it out for a bit and I thought it wasn't for me. And then Bobby ran Light Matter at AGDQ 2021. That same week, I downloaded the game, I speedran it before GDQ even ended. And because of him, um, I was able to like get into speedrunning more, found out so many more games and so many more communities. And everything that awesome. I've done on the GDQ stage is thanks to you, dude. I'm, I'm like... Thanks, dude. I'm so proud of you. You do you do such amazing work for so many speedrunning communities, and it's just fantastic. So. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. My God. But yeah, that is that's all from me. I'm gonna let my couch do shoutouts here. You want yeah. To? Well, shout out to William Share for making this wonderful game. Uh, also, if that run seemed a bit intimidating to you, but also pretty cool, there's the no wall clip categories, which I think are a lot more beginner friendly and a lot of fun. So definitely, you can go check that out, um, like speedrun.com/slash/manifoldgarden or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Bobby? Yeah, no, I, I'm just really happy to be here. I'm so proud of you for how, how, how such an awesome job you've, you've been doing in so many great communities across speedrunning, and I'm just really proud of you. So I don't really have a shout out, many shout outs, but yeah, Bobby Burm, I do puzzle game speedrunning across a lot of different games. I'll be doing Cocoon and Viewfinder commentary the rest of the week, so. Wonderful. Yeah. Great. And Ruby? Yeah, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm Ruby. You probably will see me a lot throughout this week. Uh, this is my first time seeing this, and I think that is a dang shame because that was absolutely stunning to watch. It, you did an amazing job, so I feel like the shout outs should just go to the designers and you, genuinely. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, absolutely amazing game. I think it's like less than $20 on Steam right now. Um, and so I, I, I really recommend picking it up. It's amazing. Even if you're just going to play casually, it's great. Um, if you want to see more of me, I have another run on Thursday uh, at 7.30 in the morning. Uh, Skater Gator 3D with Allison 8-Bit. It's going to be a race with her. Um, it's nothing like this game. It's a platformer, and it's going to be a lot different. Uh, but. I'm super excited for that. And I'm also going to be on commentary for Viewfinder as well on Friday with Bobby. Um, shout out to Zoochable, who is going to be doing Zooch. that. Um, 
And shout outs to all the communities, uh, Superliminal, with The Witness, uh, Viewfinder, Manifold Garden. Um, shout out to my marathon communities, Multithon, No Glitches Allowed. Um, shout out to Lady Arcaders. Uh, they're wonderful friends, and I'm so excited to have uh, finally have an opportunity to be here and uh, show this game off. And yeah, that's pretty much all for me. That's all my shout outs. Thank you, and thank you so much to Zen uh, for being a wonderful host during this run. But yeah, Stop that's that. all. And I'm, I'm hoping you liked it. I'm so glad I've been here for the first time in person. So thank you so much. Woo!